Hi friends, so before I get into this video, I wanted to say a few things. So first, I got a new camera. I'm filming this on the Canon G7X, and you know, it's like a vlogging camera turned just sit down camera for me. I'm gonna be using it for everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this new quality. Maybe comment down below if you like it. I really like this camera, I'm like in love with it, so yeah. I'm back from Playlist Live, and I just wanted to say thank you to anybody who came and said hey to me. I have never met so many of you at a convention my whole entire life, and it was just like so big this year, it was great. But honestly, Playlist Live is also the reason why I have been kind of like lagging on my uploading schedule lately. I'm gonna try to get back on track with Mondays and Wednesdays, so I'll probably be back here tomorrow, Wednesday, because yesterday I was just like literally so dead that I slept for like six hours, and then when I woke up I just like made dinner and stuff, but it was just too late to put up a video. So I hope you guys don't mind that this is up on a Tuesday. But anyways, today's video is going to be a hair care routine video, and this was very requested on Twitter, so I figured why not freaking do it. Um, I often get questions about how I keep my hair healthy or how I grow up, my hair and I actually did a video on like the top three products for growing out your hair but it was sponsored so a lot of you like got annoyed about that so this isn't sponsored at all I'm just gonna be talking about like the products that I use on my hair and just kind of explaining like the things I do to kind of keep it healthy and just happy you know healthy happy hair let's get into it <laughs> now I don't normally talk about hair brushes on my channel because nobody really you know cares about hair brushes but I have a couple of brushes that will actually change your life all right so I'm just gonna talk about about both of them just hold up you don't understand you really don't so I wear my hair natural almost every day that's why it's like this in most videos just like reasonably wavy but like kind of not I don't know it's just like I'm okay with it looking like this so most of the time I just don't really do anything to it I don't like causing too much damage to my hair so honestly I probably straighten or curl my hair like once or twice a month maybe not even mostly it's just for like events or nice things you know but back to what I was saying normally when I have natural hair it's kind of hard Harder to brush out but this bad boy changed my life my mom used to have it and it's just like an Avita paddle brush and it's just really nice sleek looking my mom actually sent it to me because I used to steal hers all the time and so that she was like you know what I'm getting you your own all right I'm just gonna send you your own so then one day I just got a package and I was like oh this breaks up tangles very very well this is the one that I use on my dry hair so just I use it before like I hop in the shower and then I have like a separate brush for when I'm in the shower and I know some of you are thinking oh Megan oh, it's bad for you to brush your hair in the shower okay no it's not with the wet brush all right I like it I like it a lot and I use it frequently I have the one in purple flurp and basically what I do with this bad boy is I wash out my conditioner while I'm brushing it with this and unless I'm straightening my hair I don't brush my hair when I get out of the shower but one thing that I do happen to do when I get out of the shower and this is a tip from my hairdresser that I just learned I take like a dime sized amount of the conditioner that I'm using and I just apply it from like the middle of my hair to the ends of my hair and then I just use it to like scrunch it and whatnot and then I put it in a towel and then you know I let it do its thing and then I take it out and then it like looks like this when it's dried just kind of like flailing around so yeah for conditioner I'm currently using the Avalon organics conditioner and it's in nourishing lavender and I just picked this up at Ralph's my grocery store and it is sulfate and paraben free so it's not gonna do any damage to my hair and the same thing goes for my shampoo this is the Alba Botanical Hawaiian shampoo and it's in like the scent uh, Plumeria I think that's how you say it I don't know I know my mom used to have this when I was little and so when I smelled it the first time I was like holy crap this reminds me of when I was like eight. It's just like a really florally scent, I guess, and then lavender as well is kind of a more floral scent. Natural shampoos and conditioners are the way to go. The only main difference that I can see between this conditioner and like normal brand name ones, like herbal essences and stuff, is this one isn't gonna make your hair feel like silky smooth, like it has a coating on it. You know when you use certain conditioners and you can kind of like feel it almost in your hair? This doesn't really make it do that, so sometimes when it doesn't feel like that, I feel like it's not working, but this one definitely does work. I don't feel like my hair is like dry or like parched or damaged at all. I don't know, this thing is just great. I really like this conditioner, all right? The only other product that I use is a dry shampoo, and this is my favorite scent of the brand Batiste, and it's the Sassy and Daring Wild one, and it is really, really wild. It smells like just, you know, Things are getting wild. I normally wash my hair every other day, so on the days that I'm not washing my hair, I use dry shampoo, and it really just absorbs all of the hair oils and everything, and I just love this stuff. Like, it is literally the best thing to ever happen to me. Because, you know when you wake up in the morning and you're just like, oh, like, I need a little bit of volume, and I also don't really want to look like a grease ball? Like, this is just perfect. It's perfect. So yeah, those are all of the products that I use on my hair. I know this video is probably boring for some of you to watch, but honestly, I get a lot of questions about my hair, all right? So I really just had to 
address all of them. The main tip I'm really going to stress just for anybody trying to keep their hair healthy or grow their hair out longer is really cut back on the heat that you're using on it. I know it's like a necessity for some people who really don't like their natural hair to like straighten it every day, but really it's not really good for your hair at all and it does damage it a lot at the ends. And it's just kind of better to give your hair a break from all the heat. So yeah, when you can, cut back on it. Maybe wear hairstyles so you don't have to like straighten your hair every day, like wear it in braids or wear it in a bun. Whatever you have to do, you know, you can switch it up. But yeah, okay, I'm done talking about my hair now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I answered some of your questions. Leave any other questions you have about hair down below or just questions you have about life down below. I don't care. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, stay smiling. All hands on deck. All in the front, all in the back, just like that, like that I'ma blow your mind, take it out